Hi, this is Terry Brock, and greetings from the Embassy Suites Hotel here in Orlando. I'm over here right now. It's part of the things we do often, uh, almost every month. We're getting ready to head over to Tampa for a meeting of the National Speakers Association Central Florida chapter tomorrow. And I'm here at the Embassy Suite because, hey, that's where they've got a rental car place, and I can rent a car and be able to uh, go over there. We don't have a car, so we do that. But I wanted to let you know about some things. First of all, here's how I get over here. I don't just walk. Oh, no, hold on. I'm going to switch this over here. You can see it. There it is. On the floor, there's my unicycle. I ride that thing over. There's my little backpack over there. You see that? And I use that, and it gets me here in a very easy, comfortable way. And by the way, it gets really good gas mileage. It does. <laughs> it's one of those things I've been riding for a while. It's just a, a fun thing to do. It's easy to carry around, and I can go there. But one of the important principles of life is in unicycle and in many other areas, too. And that is, there's going to be stuff happening to you. There's going to be stuff hitting you hard. And to say, oh, no, it's bad, you can start crying about it. Or you can say, oh, they're offending me or whatever. Throughout history, the way you deal with it is you adjust. You understand, okay, this is what's happening. What can I adapt to? What can I change? Is there something that I can change? And if so, I'll do it. This is embodied in a lot of philosophy of the great people that go by the name collectively kind of as Stoics. And they didn't necessarily call themselves that, but the people like Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, they learned you're going to see things happen in life. There's going to be stuff that happens and you can't change it. You can't do a thing about it. Well, do what you can. And you can always control your attitude. You can always control how you react. People sometimes say, well, he made me mad or he made me angry. No, no one has that power over you unless you allow that. And then really you are letting yourself get angry. You're letting yourself get mad because of something happened. You could just as easily go, I'm not going to get upset. I'm going to remain calm. I'm going to think. I'm going to adapt and adjust here. And I think that's what we have to do. The Marines say it real well. United States Marine Corps often says three words, real important three words, improvise, adapt, and overcome. You figure out what's happening. And if you can change something about it, by all means, do that. And if you can't change it, well, you figure out what you can do. Viktor Frankl told us about that. He was an Austrian psychiatrist who was a brilliant man, but he had to endure Auschwitz and Dachau under the Nazis, the socialists, the Nazi socialists, which, by the way, Nazi is a national socialist party, that's what they were. And he had to endure that. And he found that when you had a meaning and a reason to keep going, you would survive. Those prisoners who were there in Auschwitz, in Dachau, who kept going because there was a loved one they wanted to see, or they wanted to get back at life and they had something they wanted to accomplish, or even a hatred of the guards. And they, I'll show them I'm going to make it. They made it through that. Many of those did make it through there. However, those who said, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. I'm just giving up. They did not. And so what I would say to you is, remember the lesson here, I'll show you again, of my unicycle. There it is. That little unicycle, it gets me up and gets me around here and there. Now, you got to adapt. you got to adjust because of that, there are no coasting times. You do not coast. It's kind of like life, you know. Uh, unicycle really is a good metaphor for life. You are always off balance, and you just have to keep moving. You lean this way and that way, and sometimes you fall down. And I can tell you from experience, sometimes it hurts. Ooh. Yeah, it hurts, but you learn. And so that's what I would encourage you to do. Figure out how to improvise, adapt, overcome, as the Marines say. Go back and look at some of the work of the, um, the Stoics, like Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius, Seneca. These people, both Senecas, by the way, there's Seneca the Elder, Seneca the Younger, uh, really good information. And let me know, hey, if you like this, please subscribe. And reach out to others and share this with them, because a lot of people can use this message today, and they'll thank you for sharing that. And if you're catching this over on Steenit, by all means, we'd love your upvote. Love to have you join us there. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you. I'm Terry Brock. I hope you have a wonderful day today. Remember to improvise, adapt, and overcome.